Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Patreon server tour. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We have an absolutely amazing set of builds today. One of them is just next level. So uh, I don't want to keep you guys from it. Let's jump right into the tour. All right, we're back to looking at bases, and we are starting with uh, Mars Place. So what do we got? This is my rendition of the College of Hold from Skyrim. Oh, um, okay. I would have done the village, but ran out of time. Um, this is the entrance way. Uh, I would have put cracked stone brick into, but for the texture variation, but ran out of time again. Gotcha. Um, so it was a lot of fun to build it. Uh, I actually did it three times because the first time I did it with your texture pack on and it I used granite. Um, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Pressure yeah. plates is about the extent of my redstoning. Fair enough. I can totally tell <laughs> that this is the College of Winterfell. <laughs> um, so here's the Hall of Element, which is where my portal is. Okay. Um, there's not a whole lot of decoration, but that's just a really big portal. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, two staircases. One leads straight to the third floor. The other one leads to the second floor. So we'll, we'll take this one. Okay. Um, the second floor is the Arcanium. Round and round and round we go. Do, do, do. There we go. And it's like the library. Gotcha. So um, it was challenging working with the, the spacing with bookshelves and stuff. But um, it also has over here doors that lead out to the walkway, which we'll look at later. Okay. Um, upstairs is the Archmage's quarters, which is my quarters, basically. Um Oh, Which yeah. is also a lot all of fun. The, all the potion brewing alchemy ingredients and stuff. <laughs> um, so I have my memory wall on the one side over by the beds. Uh, I've got um, my jukebox here. Gotcha. So the vines kind of ran away with me. I didn't put that many. They kind of did their own thing. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> and then up one more floor is the ceiling top. Coco thought I should add a dragon. Um, but I don't do organics, so yeah. no dragon. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so this is the, this is the, just the top. And it was kind of interesting trying to find a spot that had right amount of snowfall that I needed, the elevation, but also being flat enough to build on. Gotcha. Um, then we can go back downstairs. And, uh, down here. Okay. To the second floor. This is the third, down again to the second. And if you took the other staircase and went all the way down to the first, that worked too, but do, do, do. I'll stand and wait at the second. All the stairs in the world. I think I just took this. Yeah, I just took the wrong one myself. <laughs> <laughs> Back up. But there's two doors on the second floor that lead out onto the walkway. Okay. And if you guys get lost, you can just go out to the courtyard. Yep, I'm here on the walkway. Okay. <laughs> I made it. It wraps all the way around. Uh, so it's got the two other towers over there is the beacon, uh, which is in just it, that tower is just completely empty. It's just got the shaft for the beacon mine way down below. Gotcha. Um, that's the Hall of Attainment. This one's the Hall of Countenance. And this is where I put um, all of my, whoops, all of my crafting and storage. So it's all kind of really compact. Gotcha. Um, and then down another floor is the rest of my storage and whatnot. Ignore all the pets. <laughs> this is just the only place I could keep them cooped up. There we go. And then the really fun part is down the secret hidey hole. Aha. Underneath the staircase. Because uh, College of Winterhold had the two layers of the underground, the midden and the midden dark. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so all of this, I, I dug out myself and rebuilt myself. Um, there's a couple different ways to get around. One of the other tunnels has a little jail cell where I put redstone, which is also my redstoning abilities. Gotcha. Um, blood, <laughs> basically. Yep. Um, so this whole part is the midden, 
And then underneath here, through the double doors, is the mid and dark. Um, it was really challenging to build the little cavern areas, um, trying to get it to look like a realistic cavern at all. Gotcha. Yeah, um, this is really cool. Thanks. Uh, it was also interesting, the the entire base, um, that leads nowhere, that's just the exit to my beacon mine. Gotcha. The entire base is about 95% spawn proof with hidden lighting and whatnot, and the walls and the floors and the ceilings. Very um, nice. A lot of it's really bare just because there wasn't really anything in the game other than, like, the occasional table or something like that. Yep. Um, but down here is towards the end of it. Um... Don't look over there. Someone put an under chest there. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> um, and then this is the end of the base here, um, which is wh after you go through the entire thing in the Skyrim video game, at some point you get chucked out onto this little outcropping gotcha. down below. Um, but yeah, the only other thing that would be like interesting to see, and it's, it's up to you if you want to, if you turned it to like the dusk or the night or whatever, and then go way up there, how illuminated the castle is okay let me uh just fly up here a bit oh there we go very cool so yeah that's the it's pretty much the whole base the college of winterfell yep nice that's awesome Okay, well, uh, thank you for showing me around. I appreciate it. It's very cool. Skyrim is always uh, a great source of inspiration for a lot of Minecrafty yes. type builds, because of that sort of medieval style. Uh, so now we're moving on to Miss Obvious. All right, so we're back and we're taking a look at Little Miss Obvious's place. This is really cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, well, basically, I joined in March. Uh, so I didn't really have a lot of time to do anything extravagant. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, you know, found a small island and just kind of did it from there. I love um, the trees. Thank you. I'm, I'm actually a really, you know, uh, I did about half of them last night. Okay. <laughs> um, the main idea was to turn this into kind of like a secluded fantasy island type thing. Mm -hmm. Um create an atmospheric thing so if you walk through the you kind of get the feel that you're in a different world almost and the trees were interesting because i actually used about nine stacks of glass for every single tree wow <laughs> so that's a the lot amount of glass. of glass yeah <laughs> um and actually half of the trees are double purpose so they look pretty and they also have things inside of them oh cool so I kind of turned it into a little room like you were inside of the tree trunks. Gotcha. So this is like the farm. I got my little sugarcane farm, chicken micro farms. You know, just enough to get by. <laughs> gotcha. And then this one over here is the enchanting one, which I don't think I ever used more than once. But, you know, just to have it. Of course. There we go. Yep. Little tiny worm. Then the main one that I put beyond the other one over here. The one that I actually like that I referred to it as. This one right here. Yes. And this is the main base of operation. Okay. So you got some storage down here, a little bed, little map. Little I little super smelter. And then the concrete. Concrete. Gotcha is the the main product or the main materials for the trees were clay and wool Makes and sense. concrete. Gotcha. Yep. And then I had some help earlier today. Uh, Mar and Joe helped with the flowers at the other end of the island. And also Vander actually built the waterfall that you see over here. Oh, cool. Because I actually had a little cave that was naturally generated into the island over here. Hmm. But I didn't have enough time to do really anything with it. Okay. So I was just like, help. And gotcha. Vander was like, oh, I can do a waterfall. Cool. And then YD actually went in and did something to the cave. So there's a little, little 
Thor. I see. This is all her. <laughs> <laughs> and zombie oh. Whitey, I see. Yep. <laughs> so I always have her with me, I suppose. Excellent. So there really isn't too much. It's just kind of like a little atmospheric build, if anything. Yeah, it's cool. I like it a lot. The The trees just really kind of like set the atmosphere for the whole place. Thank you. I worked really hard on them, actually. Yeah, it gives me like that uh, that kind of like feudal Japan vibe. Yes. Like if there was a couple of like old Japanese castles or something here, like they would totally fit in this I wanted style. to do, yeah, I wanted to do something like that, but I kind of wanted to challenge buildings and just completely you know nature on the island yeah so that was kind of the purpose of putting all of the rooms in the trees yeah this works really well awesome thank you anything else you want to show while we're here um actually no this is all i really did for a couple months i was here cool all right well then we will move on to aletha all right guys we are back and we're taking a look at aletha's place this looks really cool Oh, thank you. Um, so basically the story behind this place is there was a group of people that were forced from their home and traveled a long way across the sea. And this is basically where they ended up. So this was the first um, right over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people thought it would be funny on my birthday to not only <laughs> fill this entire place with cake, but pretty much <laughs> fill a good half of my base with cake. So this is what's left. Um, I could obviously could not eat all of it. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, so I have my uh, my and some of my uh, my memories in here, including one of my recent deaths yesterday. And yeah, so this is basically kind of where they uh, where the people set up shop. Gotcha. Um, and then they uh, built like some communal living areas, and then expanded further in and uh, constructed whoop, water. Uh, yeah, so constructed a portal. Uh, they started gathering livestock over here. Um, our favorite moderator decided to turn my storage area from oak into this lovely color. Um, in her defense, <laughs> I actually told her to keep it because I was intrigued by it. So it used to be oak, um, if you're, if anyone's wondering. Gotcha. Uh, I did have a little bit of fun with note blocks. Very nice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's if awesome. anyone can't tell by my name. Um, yeah. Uh, so then after that, I uh, went ahead and constructed this push-in area. Okay. And I kind of have a small penchant for uh, capturing and moving mobs. So we have our... Uh, I think this is Jane, maybe? The witch? Anyway, she's she has a temper. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, what we got? <laughs> then yep, here I have my uh, villager breeder and trading hall. Uh, it's a little bit more compact than I originally intended, but it works well. This is a uh, Yenieri Bits design, and so I have all my lovely villagers. Awesome. Um, I used to have some extra farmers uh, that I would hand out to people who were looking to start their own villager breeder, um, and one day lightning struck and... Turned them all into witches. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> and I decided to keep <laughs> Uh, simple melon and pumpkin farm here. Uh, yesterday, uh, when during the flurry of activity, uh, Mara actually came over and helped me to fill this space with this lovely water temple. Uh, okay. Because this area is basically kind of dedicated to a the uh, uh, Our Lady of the Ocean who helped the people get to this area. Gotcha. So this is the original temple. Um, I happened to make a fair amount of diamonds with the help of some other people, and yeah, this is the result of that. Gotcha. Diamond. So is this diamond all the way through, or is it just the outside? Yes. It's a full uh, six-beacon diamond pyramid. Gotcha. That's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yep. Uh, so this little walkway here was actually the first thing that I built. Uh, and then... I like the statues. Uh, yeah, do you recognize them? <laughs> yeah, they look very similar to the ones that I built in the cathedral on uh, Hermitcraft. It would fit well. Mm -hmm. Nice little twist, ah. though, adding the uh, the bowls or the pitchers or whatever the vessel mm -hmm. would be that they're holding. It's pouring out water. It's a nice touch. That was a nice touch. 
Um, then over here we have kind of the marketplace. Uh, this area became wealthy by selling flowers and dyes and those kinds of things. So I figured it was fitting to have all their wares out in the open. Sure. But then they decided to forget Our Lady of the Ocean. Um, even though they erected this beautiful temple for her, uh, they forgot all that she gave to them and she eventually grew angry. Wow. And constructed this and who, uh, who put a boat up there? Yep, so this wow. is the project I have been working on for pretty much the entire year. <laughs> Just finished it a couple weeks ago. The giant tidal wave. Somewhere around 20,000 gloves. And if you look at the back, you'll see, you kind of see the uh, all of the lapis blocks that went into it because it looked the most like water. Gotcha. And I was stubborn. And um, if it weren't for the help of a great many people on the server, including Matthew, who you'll get to chat with later, um, I, this would never have happened uh, because Lapis is terrible and horrible and I love it. But yeah, anyway, about 9,300 Lapis blocks. That's a lot of Lapis. <laughs> is Don't ever build with Lapis blocks. <laughs> yeah, that's, yep. that's really impressive. I love the tidal wave. Wow. <laughs> This is actually the first thing I thought when I was joining the server. I was like, what would be impressive? Mm, this. Let's just build a giant tidal wave for fun. <laughs> exactly. Just for fun. That's, yeah. And that's so really I built cool. some houses. Yeah, so then just... I built some houses along the, uh, the waterway. Uh, there's a somewhat incomplete library, sort of a, uh, and over here on this side, I don't know if you, anyway. There is a kind of a nice ocean view where some of the wealthier folks in town can relax. And, and then, of course, of course, horses, because just cause I'm sort of similar to Mrs. Wells in the regards of when I see a horse, I kind of go crazy. Yeah, why not? <laughs> exactly. Very cool. Oh, and a couple of flower farms around as well. Yes, always need. Oh, indeed. Yep, so that's it. Awesome. This is really cool. What's uh, what's this building over here that's very different uh, this is in the, style uh, from the rest? Uh, this is the first water temple that I built. Ah, okay. So this is supposed to be kind of the grand place of worship. And I brought in some clerics because what temple doesn't need <laughs> priests? Oh, that's uh, me, and, me and Stina Rose might have had a little bit of fun one night. And that may be why my storage area is now purple. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, uh, Angel of Light actually helped me a lot with the details on the inside. Um, I only started playing in March of last year, so still a lot to learn. It's been a lot of fun. Very cool. This is very impressive. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you for showing me around. Mm -hmm. So now we're off to Stina's. All right, guys, we are back and we're looking at Stina's place, which everyone tells me is like the place to be. <laughs> Welcome to Storybook Island. <laughs> so the idea here is um, everything is from a storybook. I wanted it to look very fantasy. So as you walk around, you're going to see things that you might notice from children's stories, fairy tales. Um, this is my fairy fountain. So okay. we've got fairies flying around the fountain. This is the only one that's not really obvious what it is. Okay. Um, we also have a stables over here that uh, Little Miss Obvious helped me build on stream. Yep. Okay. Really a fun thing to do. But everything else should be pretty obvious what it is um, if we just walk around. Uh, so let's head off this way. Okay. We have here the, um, the cobbler shop from the Cobbler and the Elves. So if we head on in, we've got all the shoes around and... Uh, Puss in Boots is here to get a new pair of boots. Gotcha. Oh, yep. I see. Yep. <laughs> we have Geppetto's shop right here. Um, Pinocchio is in there getting, uh, yeah, just kind of hanging out in the corner. He's not a real boy yet, so. I see. You know, he's... Mar helped me a lot with the interior on this one. Looks good. And down that way, we have the... Um, Muffin Man, but, you know, he's just selling hot cross buns. No who big deal. Who lives on Drury Lane. That is correct. Mm -hmm. it... <laughs> wow. 
Yes. There's so much stuff here. I, like, we could spend three videos on this yes, one base. But I, I won't I won't make you do that. I, I know you need to move it along. Um, I hired one of the uh, Patreons to build me a pirate ship because, you know, we had to have Peter Pan. And um, just this last week, I decided it was time to add uh, a crocodile to go along with it. Okay. So we've got the crocodile. Um, if you get close enough, he does. He has swallowed a clock. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. And you can go all the way inside. Uh, he's got some. He's got his guts in there. Let me pop in and. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the squishy bits. Of course, the squishy bits. All right. Uh, as you can see, we also have the little lady who lived in a shoe. Um, that's where my villager breeder is. You okay. know, it kind of made sense. She had so many children. So that's where all my villagers have come from. And lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of rose bushes. Well, <laughs> I, it is important for all the rose bushes. I mean, it's kind of in my name. Fair enough. <laughs> it has to be a thing. Uh, this magma man over here was a prank done by Notch Hero for me. Um, funny story, he actually put that over by my portal, and I asked him very sweetly, I said, I love your prank, I want to keep it, but can you move it to the other side of the island? So, <laughs> he has built that for me twice now. <laughs> Excellent. What's the uh, big number over here that says 676? Um, <laughs> oh no, I wasn't going to say that. Uh, th th that's my current... <laughs> Subscriber account. count? I, I, I happen to do a lot of live streams here on the island, so that's, yeah. Um, that's, <laughs> that's a thing. That's getting there. Uh, yeah, it's it's been quite a crazy year, actually. Really, really crazy. I'm glad. No, Zap. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she's just a mom who plays Minecraft. Thank you, Mar. That's exactly right. And does it awesome. She's... Uh, I mean, you're like pretty much famous at this point. No. <laughs> well said, it confirmed. You're not helping. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, inside jokes. Anyway. Oh, yes. Um. <laughs> um, the, this is my main castle. It's the uh, fairy tale castle. And I, I couldn't have finished the uh, texture variation with her. While I was doing my panic, she came and said, what can I do to help? And so she spent hours text doing texture variation on the entire castle, as well as adding Rapunzel's hair. I was going to say, is this Rapunzel's hair? Is that what the that big yellow is stream Rapunzel's is? Rapunzel's hair. I got it. Okay. Yes. Out behind the castle is the giant rose obelisk. That was another gift from a friend on the server named Gru. Uh, he put that together for me. That is a giant pillar of roses. I I know. <laughs> I am very well aware. Oh, but it's only the outside that actually yes, has roses. Yes, it is roses. only the outside. Okay. But still, it is very impressive. <laughs> still very impressive, yes. Yeah. Um, next to the castle, we have the Viking ships that Angel of Light made for me. He actually raided my island. Uh, the Viking ships carried um, beacons, so that's where I got most of my beacons from ah. one of other amazing goodies. Gotcha. I mean, are, uh, correct me, I'm no historian, but isn't is, when you raid, don't you generally take stuff, not give stuff? Well, Angel's pretty special. He's, it's I, like a, I often call him my fairy godmother. It's like a reverse raid. Yes, exactly. Um, one build I would be remiss not to show you is the gingerbread house. Ah, uh, yes. Them. So this... <sighs> is Hansel and Gretel. And Aletha is very fond of this house because if you come inside, yeah. inside back here, we have Granny. <laughs> Granny killed Aletha how many times? Three. Three. <laughs> Aletha is not very fun, but <laughs> she has been there for months, burning slowly. And how is she on fire and not dying? Because she's a witch, so she keeps healing herself. Ah, of course. I should yep. have known that. Professional Minecrafter. Yep. Hashtag. It's, it's okay. Yep. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Can you get cookies as you walk through the door? 
Yes, you do. You get cookies and cakes when you walk through. Oh, cool. Oh, the first little pig's still here. He hasn't disappeared yet. Um, I'm back. These are probably my derpiest builds I've ever created. Um, I built the House of Straw and the House of Sticks <laughs> the and house the of House bricks. of Bricks. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but in the House of Bricks, we do have the Big Bad Wolf, and he is extremely angry. <laughs> he looks like it. Yeah. Yep. Having a bad day. He is having a bad day. Now, the very first thing I built up was Jack's house. The beanstalk. Well, it was Jack's house first, and I kept telling him, I'm going to build a beanstalk. And then I built the beanstalk. And uh, then after the beanstalk came nothing for a long time until about, what was it, two weeks ago? And I said, it's time. We got to get the castle up there. So the castle at the top is actually a replica of my spawn town house. I see. Only three times as big. Gotcha. So every block in my spawn town house is oh. represented by, you know, a three by three by three square here. That's really cool. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun. Um, Aletha, Mar, Candy, uh, Graceful, Abandon helped me come up with names for all of the books in the library. So we've got classic <laughs> titles with a Minecraft twist. Okay, well, I gotta come see some of these. <laughs> Note blocks from underground. <laughs> Looking through the portal. The Prince and the Nitwit. <laughs> <laughs> Enderman's Game. Man, there's all sorts of good stuff here. The Nether Ending yeah. Story. <laughs> <laughs> build, Journey to the center of the overwheel. To build a mockingbird. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, lots of fun was had in this uh, this build. So, you know, it, it has everything that my Spawn Town house has, including the bedroom upstairs, which also is full of bookcases. So there's more ah, interesting titles up here. Gotcha. And of course, you know, beds are bouncy. So, so is mine. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty in the blaze <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that's amazing this is very cool as well this is my um beauty and the beast inspired hub and i did a celtic rose knot uh design for the for the floor oh um, that's really cool yeah, I love the way that this place turned out. Sometimes I'll just come in here and stand and look at it. Oh, and the, <laughs> and the rose cool. pixel from Beauty and the Beast actually looks pretty spot on as well. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. I love, uh, there's a lot of really cool lines in this too. Yeah. When you look at the ceiling and the way you did the cobblestone uh, like framework or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I love the way it turned out. Very, Very much cool. love the way it turned out. I should probably um, take off my shaders real quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you it might look better without shaders. Yeah, you can see it with, but it gets really dark and YouTube's like, oh, you like dark videos? Let me make them darker. There you go. So, oh yeah, there we go. Now you can actually see the floor a bit better. That's really cool. Yeah, I love, I love this build. Man, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Well done. What else? Did you, do you have other stuff to show me as well? Um, there's just two more things I'd like to show you. My, We'll come into the castle basement. Okay. Um, not this part. I I wanted to show you... Let's see. <laughs> this is my farm area. I'm back toward the stairs. Okay. If we just come in through here. Um, this is the reason why I was stuck with a Curse of Binding uh, moderator head for I see. a long time. But... What I wanted to show you is down here. This is my favorite farm room. I love this room. Um, this is a mushroom island. I don't know if you could tell. Um, so this room is all inspired by the mushrooms that I killed and <laughs> didn't spawn back on my island for a long time. <laughs> this is very cool. And I used uh, the slime box with sea lanterns for the lighting in the ceiling. And I think that it turned oh, out Oh, yeah. Really Look at that. 
And the last thing that I wanted to show you was the, um, uh, the throne room. <laughs> this is my throne room. And we have a white rabbit, thanks to Graceful. Um, you, the, you read the right white rabbit's name. He's, he's, he's hiding under a thing. He's he's called I'm Light. Ah! <laughs> Little Alice in Wonderland. Yep, yep. So this is this uh, throne room does nod back to the Nether Hub. I tried to get the same arch type idea in the ceiling as the Nether Hub thing. Yeah, yeah, I can tell that you uh, kind of went with the same style there. Yep. Looks really good. So I think that's the highlights. I mean, there's a whole lot of other stuff, but I know that we have to keep this. <laughs> yeah, this. I almost wish I could just spend like three days just looking around <laughs> at every little detail and every little thing. But this is really, really cool, really impressive. Yet again, I mean, last year you had a pretty impressive uh, well, base as well, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Thank you. Very cool. Fantasy Island or Fairy yes. Tale Island or uh, Fairy Tale Island. Fairy Storybook Tale. Island. Storybook Island. That's what it was. Yep. I knew it was something like that. I was close. Yep. I was in the ballpark, yep. kind of. <laughs> Not really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> close. Yeah. You were in the ballroom. I was in the ballroom. The ballroom? Yeah, I was yes, some. I was somewhere in the ballroom. We'll go with that. <laughs> awesome. Well, okay. Very cool. I think we have uh, one more base to look at, and that is YD's. Uh, YD is one of the moderators on the server here. So let's head over to your base. All right, we are back and we're taking a look at YD's place. All in the end, you said, right? Yep, yeah, all in the end. Cool, so, what do we got? Um, so when the server first started, I decided I wanted to base myself in the end this season. Mm -hmm. And that involved me deciding that I wanted to see how quickly I could kill the Ender Dragon. Mm -hmm. So we got a three minute, three hour, 20 minutes um, Ender Dragon kill since the server launched. So we're pretty pleased with that. Gotcha. And then I like messed around with the end gateways. So they'd spawn in a weird place and I've broken the bedrock so you can just walk through. And I decided I'd set up in the end. So I initially asked Obs to build me an island. And he didn't. So I then asked um, Angel to do it, and Angel built me a really fancy island. Oh. And then I asked Stina to put a castle on it, and Stina put a castle on it, and then this happened. Wow. Okay, so the castle's not finished, um, <laughs> but yes, the vision is there. Oh, and you, there's Star Wars on top of that. Yeah, there's a Millennium Falcon and three TIE Fighters, I think. One of them is being exploded. <laughs> wow, this is... The, the Millennium Falcon and TIE Fighters are straight off a design I found on Planet Minecraft, because I don't know how to build something like that, but I think it came out really well. Yeah, for sure. And then, the actual castle, very little is done with the interior. I did an entrance hall and then was like, I don't know what to do with the rest of it, so just didn't really do anything with the rest of it. Gotcha. But I'm pleased with the little I did. And then outside I've got like really cute statues of people on the server. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's a, me, an angel, a Stina, and an Aletha. Gotcha. And um I think that's about it really. There's one other thing that isn't here in the end, but I'll have to TP to get to that one, which I'll show you in a minute. So, unless Dina's got anything else to say about the castle, that's all. Um, just the fact that I wish I had had more time to, to detail it out on all sides. But time is like the most expensive resource. It is. <laughs> Indeed. That one I can relate to more than just about anything else. <laughs> So, um, sh shall I take you to the other thing I've got in the overworld then? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so, um, for anyone who doesn't know me, you won't know this, but anybody who does know me knows I have a small obsession with Taylor Swift. Like, <laughs> small. <laughs> and so, for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to build a giant Taylor Swift map, and like 3D 
and while I thought this would be a good idea, I massively underestimated it, and it um, is very unfinished, but if you want to come to me, I can throw you a copy of it. It's almost done. Um, where, where are you? I'm right above uh, you. Yeah, right yeah. here. Oh, so this is supposed to be a, a map, like... God, uh, yeah. I was thinking, like, if I stood at a certain spot and looked at it, it would be... <laughs> I, no. I, I understand. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, it, I think it would have been good when I finished, but I very didn't finish. So, hmm. yeah, I just wanted to show it, because it's, like, what I spent almost the whole time I've actually been on the server doing. <laughs> yeah, this would take an absurd amount of time, for sure. So yeah, that's all I've got to show. Very cool. Well, awesome. Thank you guys so much for the tour. I appreciate it immensely. Uh, and I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. So yeah, thanks again. I, I appreciate it. There's so many cool things here. All right, guys, I am back with Stina. We forgot to do something uh, <laughs> when we were recording earlier. There, you had so much stuff to show that uh, I, I guess this just slipped your mind. It did. It really did. <laughs> Um, we are at my friend Graceful Abandon's base. Um, she spent a lot of time helping me at my my place and didn't really spend a lot of time at hers. So, But she, I did give her a gift that I wanted to show you. Um, and she said, yes, please do that. She doesn't do uh, voice chat, so she didn't feel comfortable showing off her base herself. But this is a uh, mushroom island that she's changed into a flower forest. And oh, it's okay. a um, it's filled with rabbits, and I think that her inspiration came from this island off of in Japan somewhere that is just covered with rabbits. So hmm. interesting. Anyway, I love how pretty it is. But what I wanted to show you was uh, my snowman. <laughs> ah, did you sing while you were creating this about well, see, building a snowman? A little, there's a little joke on the server where Graceful is asking they want to build a snowman um and so one day i decided i would build her a snowman so well, there you go it's a good looking yeah. snowman i and also I like it. that it appears to be a snow globe as well yes yes it's a snow globe so you've got the snowman inside the snow <laughs> very nice <laughs> but i did mention that i would i would bring you over here and show you that since she's not do the tour and wanted you to see her base as well cool well awesome thank you for showing me and welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I did Fairy Tale Land. What an incredible idea. <laughs> what a cool build. And there was a lot of really cool stuff over the course of this episode as well. I do want to remind you guys, uh, the people on the Patreon server who are content creators, including Stina, for example, who did, uh, who did the Fairy Tale Land, um, they all have links in the description of these videos. So check those guys out if you enjoyed their stuff. Give them a chance um, and, you know, send them some love. But that is going to do it for me because I'm out of time for this one. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.